Welcome to the second lesson of this section. In this lesson, we're going to create our data model and data provider. Let's get started. First, let's create a new group. Go ahead and name it data. Then create an empty Swift file and name it data model. We can create a data model if we have no idea on how our data looks like. Inside the project navigator, go ahead and click on the helper file. Inside this file, you will find the JSON URL property that I have created for us. Go ahead and copy its string value. Now open your browser and go to that URL. As you can see, we have a number of JSON objects. And we know that for creating of a JSON data model, knowing and understanding the structure of a single JSON object is enough. As you can see, a single JSON object has four properties. A channel ID of type integer and three other properties of type string. Perfect. Let's go back to our data model file. Go ahead and create the following structure. Struct, data model. Our struct is adopting codable and hashable protocol. Let's go ahead and create our first property. Let channel ID of type int. Next, let channel name of type string. Then let channel link of type string. And finally, let channel color of type string. Fantastic, we are done designing our data model. Next, let's go ahead and create a data provider class. Let's create an empty Swift file. Name this file data provider. Let's go ahead and create the following class. Class data provider. This singleton class is going to help us to download and decode our JSON objects. The data provider class should also help us to pass the decoded data to our table view. Inside this class, let's go ahead and create an empty array for our channel models. Let's go ahead and mark it with the private access level, private var channel list an array of type data model equals an empty array on the next line let's go ahead and create our singleton property static let shared instance equals data provider. Let's go ahead and add an init method to our class. Because we have marked our channel list array with a private access level, it's not going to be visible to the other classes. That's why we are not going to be able to use its count property on our table view. Hence, we should create a method which returns the number of channel list elements. Func number of channels with an integer return type. Inside this method, let's go ahead and return channel list dot count 
As I stated earlier, since our channel list array is marked with a private access level, we are not going to be able to access it from other classes. Therefore, we should create a method and access our channel list as a return type. Let's go ahead and create the following method. Func should provide channel list. returning an array of type data model inside this method go ahead and return channel list next let's create our json decoder private func should decode Now click inside the parentheses. Let's go ahead and omit the argument label by writing an underscore. Let's use data for the parameter name of type data. Inside this method, go ahead and create the following property. Let decoder equals JSON decoder. On the next line, go ahead and write a do cache block. Let's catch the error and print it inside the cache block. Now click inside the do block. Go ahead and call the channel list equals try. decoder dot decode let's write a pair of square brackets now click inside the square brackets and type data model exit the brackets and type dot self from data fantastic it's time to download the data Let's go ahead and create the following method. Private func should download JSON. Inside this method, let's go ahead and use a guardlet statement and see whether our URL is a valid URL. Guard let URL equals URL. Go ahead and select the constructor with the string parameter and pass JSON URL to this parameter. Else return. Next, we should create a URL request. Let request equals url request choose the constructor with url and pass url into its url parameter on the next line let's use url session dot shared dot now choose data task with request and completion handler Let's pass request into the with parameter. Use the tab key on your keyboard and jump to the completion handler and press enter. This completion block will give us three optional objects. Let's cache data as data, URL response as response, and error as error. Click inside the closure. Let's go ahead and ask if error is equal to nil. So we are saying if there is no error, go ahead and run our instructions. Since the data object has the optional type, we should use a guardlet statement and make sure we don't end up crashing our application. Guard. Let downloaded data equals 
data, else return. Now that we have data in our hand, we should go ahead and pass it to our should decode method. And because we are inside a closure, we should add self to our should decode method. Let's go ahead and say self dot should decode. Now pass downloaded data into its data parameter. On the next line, we want to post a message through our entire app and tell the table view that we have data. Therefore, we should use notification center dot default dot post. Let's select the constructor with name and object. Click inside the name parameter and press enter. Now write an opening parenthesis and select the constructor with raw value and pass update to that parameter. Because we are going to use this notification in the next lesson, you should memorize the correct spelling of the notification name. Lastly, go ahead and pass nil into the object parameter. Go ahead and click outside of the closing curly brace of the URL session and type dot resume. Because the download task can be suspended, if its attempts to download fail, we should call the resume method on our URL session. Two more steps to go and we are done with this lesson. Go to the init method, click inside its definition. Let's add the should download JSON method to this method. Lastly, go to the app delegate file. Now click inside the application did finish launching with options. Write an underscore equals data provider. Our data provider is now successfully initialized. From now on, every time we launch the app, our data will be downloaded. Let's take a short break. I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye for now.